Good morning, everyone. This is the Asylum. And today, I'm looking for your help. Um, the idea of doing a setting video is growing on me. I don't know why, but it's growing on me. But I've been trying to think about how best to show off how I set. And the reason why it's difficult for me is I set on... Well, usually I set on three screens at once. I do the picture on my phone using Sven's Sudoku Pad. Great app, by the way, especially if you're doing some uh, scratch work on your while you're thinking. Um, especially for pictures. I, I draw the picture on my phone. And then, using Rank Solver, I use I uh, use F puzzles and rank solver to set a large part of the puzzle but most a large chunk of the puzzle is actually set in Penpa. If any of you have done my puzzles almost every one of my puzzles is set in Penpa. and that's because I like doing the colored square version it allows me to do multiple multiple colors easily it allows me to put blank squares easy more easily um, I just I just like it. I like I like it a lot. Um, so most of my things are set in Pempa, so we're going to set one in Pempa. Um, so that leads me to be able to show, need to show both Pempa because I do my solving in Pempa. I do my I do well. The way I set is I I I, I do the calculations here in with the solver in F puzzles and do the setting. In, in Penpa. So, so we need to be able to display Penpa. So the way, my idea so far is to have this display here most of the time where we've got you know, that puzzles up where we're, we're figuring out the things and we've got over here on the side my sums helper in case when we get to the point that's going to be needed. When we get to a point where we need to test what we've figured out in F puzzles which we need to do frequently we need to stop what we're doing in F puzzles and make sure that it's solvable and that we're not just you know that we can get to the same answers that F puzzles gets to we need to be showing Penpa and so what I've got so far is what I do is going to hide the F puzzle screen and now we're looking at the Penpa screen and over here we've got, the, I, I've actually divided the Penpa screen up into two different sections. We can see here on the left we've got the actual puzzle. And the reason there's so much white area is I've got plenty of room for me to stick clues. Um, that's what that's for, is, is lots of area for me to stick outside clues. I don't know where they go yet because I don't have the puzzle yet. Um, but that's where they go. Now, I don't know. Well, I know a lot of people aren't familiar with Penpa, so that's why I was thinking about putting the control box up here in the in the uh, upper right. Um, even though I really only use... Well, I mean, I use number mode, Sudoku mode, and surface mode. And I do edit the problem and the solution. I mean, I do throw edges in at the beginning, but... If I were doing a... You know, a samurai, and then definitely we needed to share the box tool and things like that as well. But I don't know if we really need the controls for Penpa. The problem is the, with the spacing and the struct, the the size and the structure of of uh, this this size over here. Um, it doesn't. It can't really scale up any further, as we can see. Um, so. I don't know what to put either up here or just below it underneath. So that's the other thing I don't know is there's this big empty area in the middle of my screen that I can't highlight because I'm not capturing that window. Um, underneath, you know, you can, well, you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know what to put there. I don't know what to put in this big empty space. Um, I don't like it. It's ugly. I'm kind of thinking we put the the picture there, but that's kind of uh, counterproductive in a way. In that we would need the product the the picture on this view because that's where the picture will be. Well, well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the picture in in app puzzles. You know, the first thing we do is we color this with the picture, so we don't need it. But then you know, if we have the picture. You know, we'll be seeing the picture while we're we're doing our test solve during the setting. So I'm not sure about that. Um, 
I'm not sure what else to go here, though, in in this big old blank area. So I'm I'm open to ideas. I'm open to some suggestions on where to move things um, to make things a little more a little easier for everyone to see, a little easier to for everyone to deal with. So, and again, I don't know if I mentioned it already. It's it's early. I don't remember what's going on. Um, could easily use a better title than I've got. That's just kind of a placeholder title for now. Um, the Asylum pretends to be an, an artist. Doesn't fit very well. So anyway, I um, really can appreciate your, your opinions. Uh, either leave them here in comments in the stream, or I'd really prefer it if, we, if you took your comments to Rank's Discord server. I have a channel there where I make all the announcements about this, this stream. Uh, and all the updates about this stream, so I'd, I'd prefer the comments be there in that in the Discord, but not they aren't necessary. They they can be on the end it, to this video as well. I will link in the description of this video the chat the Discord channel for you to leave comments. And thank you very much, and we hope to see you on the stream.